In ancient Rome, there was an emperor who ruled with wisdom and virtue, and his name was Marcus Aurelius. Unlike many rulers, Marcus Aurelius was deeply introspective and philosophical. He kept a private journal, now known as Meditations, where he reflected on his thoughts and the nature of life. Despite facing immense pressure, wars, and personal tragedies, Marcus Aurelius maintained a positive outlook. His writings offer profound insights into how we can cultivate a positive mindset, even in the face of adversity. Before we delve into these timeless principles, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment below to join our community and stay updated with our latest videos. 1. Embrace the Present Moment One of the fundamental teachings of Marcus Aurelius is the importance of living in the present moment. He believed that our ability to think positively is closely tied to our ability to stay focused on the present. In Meditations, he wrote, confine yourself to the present. This simple yet profound advice encourages us to let go of past regrets and future anxieties and instead immerse ourselves fully in the here and now. Living in the present moment means paying attention to our thoughts, feelings, and surroundings without judgment. It involves embracing each moment as it comes, whether it brings joy or challenge. By doing so, we free ourselves from the burdens of the past and the uncertainties of the future, which often cloud our thinking and prevent us from maintaining a positive mindset. Consider the example of a challenging work project. Instead of worrying about past mistakes or stressing about the outcome, focus on the task at hand. Break it down into manageable steps and tackle each one with full attention. This not only improves productivity, but also reduces stress and fosters a more positive outlook. Practicing mindfulness is a powerful way to cultivate this present-focused mindset. Mindfulness techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or simply taking a few moments to observe your surroundings can help anchor you in the present. Over time, this practice can transform your thought patterns, making it easier to think positively and respond to life's challenges with calm and clarity. 2. Recognize the power of your thoughts Marcus Aurelius understood the profound impact that our thoughts have on our perception of the world. He wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This statement highlights the importance of cultivating a positive inner dialogue and being mindful of the thoughts we entertain. Our thoughts shape our reality. Negative thoughts can lead to a downward spiral of emotions, affecting our mood, behavior, and overall outlook on life. Conversely, positive thoughts can uplift our spirits, inspire us to take constructive action, and enhance our well-being. Recognizing this power allows us to take control of our mental state and steer it towards positivity. To apply this principle, start by becoming aware of your thought patterns. Notice when negative thoughts arise and challenge them. Ask yourself if these thoughts are based on facts or assumptions. Often, we find that our negative thoughts are exaggerated or unfounded. Reframe these thoughts by focusing on positive aspects or potential solutions. For instance, if you catch yourself thinking, I'll never succeed, reframe it to, I'm capable and will improve with effort and perseverance. Affirmations are another effective tool for cultivating positive thoughts. Create a list of positive affirmations that resonate with you and repeat them daily. Statements like, I am resilient, I am capable of overcoming challenges, and I choose to see the good in every situation can gradually shift your mindset and reinforce positive thinking. 3. Accept what you cannot change. A core tenet of Stoicism, and a key to thinking positively, is accepting what we cannot change. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the nature of control and the importance of focusing on what lies within our power. He wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This principle teaches us to differentiate between what we can and cannot control. By accepting the things we cannot change, 
we can direct our energy towards what we can influence, thereby reducing frustration and cultivating a more positive mindset. This acceptance is not about resignation, but about freeing ourselves from the mental and emotional turmoil that comes from resisting reality. For example, imagine being stuck in traffic on your way to an important meeting. You cannot control the traffic, but you can control your reaction. Instead of getting angry and stressed, which only worsens the situation, accept the delay and use the time constructively. Perhaps listen to an inspiring podcast or practice deep breathing exercises. This shift in perspective can transform a frustrating experience into an opportunity for growth and positivity. Practicing acceptance also involves letting go of perfectionism. Understand that mistakes and setbacks are part of life and do not define your worth. Embrace imperfection and view challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. This mindset fosters resilience and helps you maintain a positive outlook even when things don't go as planned. 4. Cultivate Gratitude Gratitude is a powerful antidote to negativity and a cornerstone of positive thinking. Marcus Aurelius frequently reminded himself of the blessings in his life despite the numerous challenges he faced. He wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Cultivating gratitude shifts our focus from what is lacking to what we have. It helps us appreciate the small joys and blessings in our daily lives, which we often take for granted. This shift in focus can significantly enhance our overall well-being and foster a more positive outlook on life. To practice gratitude, start a daily gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you are grateful for. These can be simple things like a beautiful sunrise, a kind gesture from a friend, or a satisfying meal. Reflecting on these positive experiences reinforces a sense of appreciation and helps counterbalance negative thoughts. Expressing gratitude to others is also beneficial. Take the time to thank those who have positively impacted your life. Whether it's a heartfelt note, a kind word, or a simple acknowledgement, expressing gratitude strengthens relationships and spreads positivity. Another effective practice is to mentally review your day each night, focusing on positive experiences and lessons learned. This reflection not only helps you end the day on a positive note, but also primes your mind to recognize and appreciate positivity in the future. 5. Practice Self-Compassion Marcus Aurelius understood the importance of treating oneself with kindness and compassion. In Meditations, he wrote about the significance of self-care and self-compassion, recognizing that inner strength and positivity begin with how we treat ourselves. He advised, to love only what happens, what was destined, no greater harmony. Practicing self-compassion involves acknowledging your struggles and imperfections without judgment. It means treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend. This practice is crucial for maintaining a positive mindset, especially during difficult times. When faced with failure or criticism, instead of being harsh on yourself, Practice self-compassion. Recognize that everyone makes mistakes and that setbacks are part of the learning process. Offer yourself words of encouragement and support. For example, instead of thinking, I'm such a failure, reframe it to, I made a mistake, but I can learn from this and improve. Self-compassion also involves taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Make time for activities that nurture your body and mind such as exercise, meditation, hobbies, and spending time with loved ones. Prioritizing self-care helps you recharge and maintain a positive outlook. Additionally, practicing self-compassion enhances your resilience. When you are kind to yourself, you build a strong foundation of self-worth and inner strength. This foundation enables you to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and positivity. Thinking positively, as taught by Marcus Aurelius, is not about ignoring life's difficulties, but about adopting a mindset that empowers us to face them with grace and resilience. By embracing the present moment, recognizing the power of our thoughts, accepting what we cannot change, cultivating gratitude, 
and practicing self-compassion, we can develop a positive outlook that enhances our well-being and enriches our lives. Remember, positivity is a practice, not a destination. It requires consistent effort and mindfulness, but the rewards are profound. By integrating these stoic principles into our daily lives, we can cultivate a mindset that not only withstands adversity, but also thrives in it. So, take these teachings to heart and embark on your journey towards a more positive and fulfilling life. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment below to join our community and stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching.